peace infinite waters diving deep once again we are out here we're in nature breathing in that good ass prana baby 10 films that will make you question everything and change your life forever and we ain't even had breakfast yet can i get a hello there <laughs> people write in saying ralph have you seen any cool films lately can you recommend any films to me? And I'm like, no. The last time I went to the cinema was, I can't even remember, right? But I want to know what kind of films are you guys watching right now that is mind-blowing, that's making you see life in a different way. Let us know. Don't, don't, keep it to your, don't keep it to yourself. Okay, but there are some films I've seen which have blown me away. The first one, Forks Over Knives. The Seven Day Vegan Challenge. And these are also documentaries, right? I remember watching Forks Over Knives, which is really about showing how researchers found out so much benefits with a plant-based diet, right? How it prevents cancer, diabetes, improves your cardiovascular health. And that's all when you stop eating meat. And when I first watched it, I was like... <gasps> Why didn't someone tell me about that sooner? But also the documentary is pretty intense, right? It really makes you feel guilty if you're not eating a plant-based diet, or at least if you don't have a few vegetables on your plate, right? You're like, oh, because it's pretty intense, but it's an eye opener. It makes you wake up. Hey, what's number two? Lucy. I remember seeing the film Lucy when... I was going through a stage in my life where I was like, come on, let's do this. And that just gave me that boost just to do it, right? Lucy, in the film, she gets drugged with some chemicals and all of a sudden she wakes up with superhuman abilities. Telekinesis, telepathy, right? She starts seeing binary in buildings, that everything is information, and it's just fascinating, right? I'm not going to actually tell you about these movies, what happened, because I don't want to spoil. I don't want to spoil it for you if you haven't seen it. But check out Lucy. Mind-blowing. Number three is The Matrix. Uh-oh. The Matrix is one of my favorites, right? That really makes you question your reality. The Matrix is all about asking yourself how sure... Are you that this is the only reality, right? It's all about, we could be in a computer program for all we know, right? We could all be part of a simulation. And what I love about The Matrix is that it fuses in a lot of Eastern philosophy, like there is no spoon. And as you change your inner your outer also changes, right? And you try to dodge bullets as well. Don't do that in real life. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Number four, Dead Poet Society. That's one of my favorite Robin Williams film where he really just encourages people carpe diem to seize the day, right? Lots of students and stuff. And it's just an inspiring film, but very motivating number five is fight club right tyler durden we buy things we don't need with money we don't have to impress people we don't like right and it's all about really i call it a kind of boot camp fighting boot camp right a violent boot camp which is really about breaking your social conditioning that you've been programmed by advertising but it is just riveting number six let's talk about they live okay they live right nada the actor roddy piper find some sunglasses who does that right you find a pair of sunglasses you put the sunglasses on and then 
you start seeing all of these subliminal messages in like billboards, right? They Live is phenomenal because it shows that the world we live in is far from what we actually think it is, right? And there are all kinds of subliminal messages, not just in advertising, but everywhere, right? Everything has a hidden message. And that's why you got to get smart. You got to start reading more, start increasing your wisdom and knowledge, right? What about number seven? Number seven, we are talking about the avatar, right? I love the avatar, the Navi, right? Indigenous people, all of a sudden, some people come in and they try and take them out of their luscious rainforest where it's just a magical place, right? But really it's showing what is actually happening to us right now, right? Because look, planet Earth, we are facing the sixth mass extinction, right? Millions of animals are getting wiped out. So we got to do something. Over 64 billion animals are killed every single year because of you, right? We're all to blame. So it's an eye-opener, right? The Avatar, it's all about reconnecting back to the ancient wisdom of where we all came from, which is the rainforest, the bush, nature. We don't want to destroy nature. This is all we've got. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Number eight is inception, right? It's all about dreams, right? Dom has this ability to enter people's dreams and then discover things about them, right? Imagine that, right? Imagine if I could come into your dreams. A lot of people say, Ralph, I, I saw you in my dreams, right? And then steal information, right? So Inception is just about how there are dreams within dreams and we don't really know if life itself is just a dream, right? Because the totem is spinning and when it stops, it's like, okay, I'm dreaming, but it's just going, right? It's fascinating. Check out Inception. Christopher Nolan cast me in cast me in there next cast me in there next time, right? Number nine, great documentary, Thrive. Check out Thrive. I saw Thrive a while ago, but that is amazing, right? Because it shows you how really how society is set up right and how a lot of us are getting shafted up the rear end but what i like about this documentary is that there are solutions right to the banking system the economics to why the world is the way it is today right and it is just a groundbreaking documentaries thrive check it out and lastly number 10 is control factor woman from showgirls elizabeth berkeley right Control Factor came out, I think, in 2003, right? And it's all about how we are all turning into robots, right? Soon, all of us are going to be uploaded into computers, on computers, right? We are literally technology, right? It's about uncovering, like, government mind control programs, right? And how we don't even care about our we don't even care about our privacy anymore, right? We're, we're giving away our information, right? That's why I stopped posting selfies on Facebook. Post them on Instagram now, right? But it's about really realizing that where does it stop, right? Are we going to take back our power or are we going to give our power away, right? So it's a great film, Control Factor, because that was talking about mind profiling where we are giving information out and they've got like a digital version of you somewhere in a massive database and they know everything about you. How do they know that? <laughs> because you told them, right? So those are 10 films that made me question everything in existence. Oh yeah, and The, the Notebook, right? Because lots of people love The Notebook. Still haven't seen it. Apparently, I'm going to need a box of tissues. Can I get a hello? There. So there you have it in a nutshell. Let me know what kind of films we should be watching. If you've seen one, let us know. We're out here.
infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace.